Hi, I'm Jennifer Love. This is your weekly love connection for the week of May 13th through the 19th. You can choose a card from one to three or have assigned a card for your unique situation. Card number one is for folks who are in crisis who feel they need immediate answers and support. Card number two is if you happen to be single. And card number three is for those who are in relationships. So this week we are using Messages from the Mermaids by Karen Kay. So let's get started. Card number one is letting go. So you might be struggling with um, the aftermath of a breakup or you may have um, parted with someone and you're having trouble, you know, just releasing those emotions or just letting go of someone, or it may even have been quite some time and you're struggling with letting go of someone. Um, I recorded a podcast, I think it was in January, um, on We're All Psychic, and we talked for a very long time about this subject of letting go. So I encourage you to go find that podcast. It's We're All Psychic, um, and I think, um, I believe it was in January, and um, but some of the highlights about letting go or why, um, how to let go of somebody is to kind of remember that um, they're not the one. <laughs> we don't have one soulmate. Try not to put this person on a pedestal. Nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. And neither was this person. Um, so, you know, re try to remember the flaws as well as why they were so wonderful, you know, for you. Um, you can um, also, you know, sometimes when we're um, going through it and you're talking about, you know, a breakup with your friends, all of a sudden, like you're talking about it over and over and over again, um, you start to get embarrassed about talking about it because it's been six months, a year, or maybe even longer, and you're just starting to feel like you can't talk about it anymore because your friends are sick of hearing it, or your family's sick of hearing it, or whoever you've been talking to about it. You just start to feel self-conscious about talking about it. But don't stop talking about it. If you need to talk to a therapist about it, if you need to call your psychic advisor about it, your spiritual advisor about it, um, talk about it as long as you need to talk about it um, because it's important to keep sharing your feelings about it and it helps you let go. Um, another important thing is to move your body. Um, Movement is one way we process emotions. There's a lot of other great tips in the podcast, so I encourage you to listen to it. Card number two is acceptance. And this is, you know, the mermaid is in like very still water and she's just kind of still and not moving. Um, and this is a card that brings to mind, you know, peace at the situation that you're in. Um, acceptance doesn't mean, you know, you have to be um, thrilled about what's happened to you, but it does mean you have to be realistic about what's happened and where you are. Um, it could mean that you've recently um, separated from someone and you just have to deal with the fact that that didn't work out. Um, but it could also mean accepting yourself for who you are and loving yourself exactly the way that you are right now. Um, it could mean accepting all of your flaws. It could mean, you know, you are accepting the divine plan, divine timing of, you know, your love life and you know, you're accepting how things are going to unfold for you and you're not going to try to force it or, you know, manipulate 
um, some things or someone. Um, so acceptance can mean a lot of different things. You'll have to apply it to your situation, but you know, just be sure that it can um, bring a real feeling of peace once you know that you are in a state of grace and acceptance of yourself and the situation that you're in. Card number three is for my folks who are in relationships or if you just chose card number three. This is super interesting. This is ask for help. So you can see the mermaid is kind of blowing on the conch to kind of signal that she needs help. So this might mean that you and your partner have tried to work things out on your own and now it's time to call in the professionals and ask for help with your relationship. It might be time to get a spiritual reading. It might be time to call a therapist for counseling. It might be time to um, call in a professional organizer if you can't decide on your space. It might be time to call in a professional uh, to fix something if your space needs something. I don't know. But you need the help of someone else in your relationship for some reason. This could also be an indication that you need help from your partner and you've been afraid to ask them for that help for whatever reason and your angels and guides are telling you that you need to ask for that help from your partner um, and you've been avoiding asking your partner for help for whatever reason and you need to be honest and ask your partner for help so which, you know, good communication is important in any relationship and it's okay to ask your partner for help sometimes and it's okay for them to ask you for help if that is emotional help, if that's physical help, if that's, you know, help mentally to solve a problem. Um, you need to feel like you can ask your partner for help and lean on them and if you feel like you can't, that's a big problem too. I hope you've enjoyed any, all of these messages and they're relevant to your life this week. And just know that you can always go to thejenniferlove.com to get a personal reading. I look forward to hearing from you and see you next week. Bye.